base in California. He's got over 8,800 hours and over 40 different aircraft. John F. Kennedy. Guess what? What's the name of this place here? The John F. Kennedy Space Center. It's due to that man right in 1961, just two weeks after Alan Shepard was still the following American hero. All this Iran, all this Dutch blue. Then we moved into Germany, which carried two people, and taught us how to do spacewalks, and how to join spacecraft in orbit, and all the things necessary to subsequently put three people along the way to this space program. So obviously, I was excited when I got into the main thing. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Welcome to Kennedy. This is a very special place. So bonjour. Ziguia. Nobody owes it up. Bonjour. going down the elevator where they'll be greeted by employees from Kennedy Space Center and members of the news media. This is the same elevator that's been used by the astronauts ever since Apollo. NASA security. Also be a helicopter flying overhead. It's about a 20 minute ride out to launch pad 39A. Uh, 10 miles altogether for the drive. We see the uh, NASA headquarters building in the foreground and the launch complex 37 in the background. Ready for the vent door? Yeah. Okay. And CTO association? Yeah, let's go. Uh, orbiter vent doors will be moved momentarily at 765. Yes, yeah, so they will pull you later. Pilot. Pilot, go. SPM. SPM, okay. Safety console. Let's go. SPE. SPE is built. LRD. LRD is built. SRO. SRO, you have a range clear launch. All right. Yeah. Yeah.
Standing room. Good luck, Godspeed, and we'll follow that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting close. The mic until the very end, you won't be able to see. This is always going to be a reflection of what a great nation can do when it dares to be bold and commits to follow through. We're not ending the journey today, Mark. We're completing a chapter of a journey that will never end. Here are the thousands of men willing to give their hearts, souls, and their lives to the cause of exploration and every good history.
sir. Instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms nice smooth ride. Solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for one minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Well, that was cool. <laughs> SRE's floating back that into the cool. ocean off of Jacksonville at this time. And two engine towel means if one of the main engines quit at this point, they can make it across the ocean for a trans oceanic abort landing over in Africa. We do have contingency plans, of course, all along the flight path, as well as around the world if she does make it up into orbit. Looks good, all the way. She's riding on the big orange tank right now, that is the big fuel tank, the cold cryogenic fuel for the three main shuttle engines. That tank will be jettisoned. Uh, eight and a half minutes into the flight, and we jettison and arc back into the atmosphere, burning up approximately over the Indian Ocean.